Experimental has headed to Japan in search of a man who thinks he can solve this, the Tokyo rush hour. You can't go in the direction you want because you're pushed with the flow of people. Yeah, and people bump into you. It can be painful, especially if it's a girl because you get hit by a bag. <laughs> Someone stepped on my foot with heels once, and that was very painful. I cut my foot. Oh. Even after midnight in this popular part of Tokyo, there's, there's still lots of people and far too many cars. Someone should do something about it. Well, thankfully, somebody has. Here in Matsumoto, at the edge of the Japanese Alps, a new invention is taking off, and it's set to help you rise above the rat race. Literally. It's called the Gen H4, and it's the brainchild of inventor Genai Yanagasawa, better known to his friends as Gen. It's the smallest one-man helicopter in the world. It took us 15 years to develop. It's very light and very small. You fly it in a small space. Anyone can ride it, and I'd like everybody to be able to use it as casually as you'd ride a bike. It's so light that you don't need a pilot's license to fly it. And the controls are unlike any other helicopter in the world. They're simple. You control the height by moving this throttle. And that means you control the height with just one hand. There's one bar, and that controls direction. It's directly attached to the rotors, and if you keep it straight, you hover on the spot. When you want to move backwards, you just push the bar forwards, and if you want to go forwards, you just do the opposite. And that's all there is to controlling it. Thanks to those pesky laws of physics, when you spin something with a motor, the motor itself tends to spin in the opposite direction. Standard helicopters solve this problem with a second vertically mounted rotor on the tail, which keeps the helicopter body still. Gen's helicopter doesn't have a tail, but it solves the problem in a different way. The two sets of blades spin in opposite direction, so the twisting force of each rotor on the body is cancelled out, giving it perfect balance. Ever since I was very small, I always wanted to go into the sky. I think it came from reading the tales of the Arabian Nights and the idea of flying carpets stuck in my mind. When designing his flying carpet, Gen started with a blank piece of paper and built up the features of his chopper around four super light engines. Gen's engines are a miniature engineering wonder. They weigh just three kilos, but can produce 10 horsepower each, making them one of the highest power-to-weight ratio motors in the world. The Gen H4 is now available to buy, but it will set you back a cool 3.5 million yen. That's around 19,000 pounds. It's a lot of money, but would you be tempted? If it was a two-seater, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if it was a two-seater. Or a four-seater, so the whole family could ride in it. Oh, but then it would just be an ordinary helicopter, wouldn't it? <laughs> about three million yen? That's, that's quite affordable. Can I really buy it for about three million yen? That's cheaper than a car. Yeah, wicked. It's great, it's great. I want one. I want one too. With this, when there's an earthquake, you're right, you could escape. There's so many earthquakes in Japan. <laughs> so, a thumbs up from the Tokyo commuters. But before you get all excited, there is one tiny drawback. The Gen H4 is a bit of a fair weather freak. We've had to film it indoors today because it's a little bit windy. Uh, and that's all it takes to throw this little chopper into a tease. The weight is still a bit too small against the strong wind. I feel it's probably a little bit weak. For this, we're developing a helicopter with an integrated automatic control system so it can tolerate a strong wind. And I think it will be better with this in the future. 
I wanted to create a one-man helicopter that anyone can ride, not only the rich people, but I want everyone to use this as you might ride a bike. My dream is that everybody flies above the cities like dragonflies. I'm working really hard for such a dream.